Today we'll be using the Crash Data Group EDR Retrieval Kit for Tesla vehicles to access and download crash data contained in this 2014 Model S Tesla. We'll be showing you how to use the in-vehicle connector method with the hardware contained in the kit. Tesla has produced a step-by-step -step download instruction guide that you can find on Crash Data Group's website. It is highly recommended that you carefully review the instruction guide to become familiar with the procedures before you attempt a download. We'll start by identifying the hardware components needed to perform an in-vehicle download for a 2014 Model S. Consult the reference card contained in your kit. The PCAN USB adapter is used for all downloads. The PCAN device driver must be installed on your computer. As you can see, we'll use the genuine Tesla cable with part number 1131145 a for a 2014 Model S in-vehicle download. Connect the connection cable to the PCAN adapter and tighten the screws to maintain a good connection. As with any download, you may encounter some unforeseen issues you'll have to overcome. The first thing you'll need to determine to perform an in-vehicle download is, do you have the key fob for the vehicle? If you do, you'll need to determine if the car has 12 volt power available. If it does, you can proceed with the in-vehicle download. If it doesn't, you'll need to supply supplemental 12 volt power through a battery post located on the front bumper or directly to the RCM through the first responder loop. Once 12 volt power is supplied, you can proceed with the in-vehicle download. If you don't have the key fob, you'll need to supply supplemental 12 volt power directly to the RCM through the first responder loop. Once completed, you can proceed with the in-vehicle download. This Model S had been stored in a tow yard for some time. The 12 volt battery had died and the key fob was missing. The doors of a Model S may not open unless 12 volt power is available and you have the key fob. A positive battery post is located on the front bumper to supply supplemental power to the vehicle. We used a portable jump box to supply power to the car. We were now able to open the doors allowing access to the vehicle's interior. The in-vehicle data port connector is located under the dashboard beneath the touchscreen. You will need to remove the plastic storage pocket beneath the touchscreen. Apply firm downward pressure to the storage pocket and then pull it toward you. Locate the connector and gently pull it toward you as well. Connect the genuine Tesla cable to the data connector and plug the PCAN adapter into an open USB port on your computer. If you have the key fob, follow the instructions in the download guide and proceed with the download. In our case, the key fob was not available. Therefore, to perform an in-vehicle download, 12 volt power must be supplied directly to the RCM. This is done through the first responder loop harness, which is located in the front trunk area of the vehicle. A bright orange tab indicates the location of the first responder loop in the upper right corner of the front trunk. This will be to your left while facing from the front of the vehicle. Remove the first responder loop access panel by pulling the rear edge of the panel upward to release the clips that hold it in place. Disconnect the first responder loop harness. Using an alternative 12 volt power source, apply positive 12 volts to pin number 3 of the wiring harness and connect the negative source to the vehicle chassis. 12 volt power should now be supplied directly to the RCM and we can proceed with the in-vehicle download. To start the download, open the Tesla EDR retrieval program on your computer. When connected properly, a green circle and the message connected to RCM displays in the lower left corner of the screen. Click on the Run EDR Retrieval button. A window will appear where you can enter any notes you wish relevant to your case. Enter your comments and select OK. The EDR Retrieval program will go through a series of steps to retrieve the data. Once completed, the EDR file is saved on your computer as indicated here and can be used to generate a Tesla EDR report through Tesla's website. Click on the Finish button. Shut down your computer and disconnect the connection cables. You'll need internet access to generate a Tesla EDR report. Create or log into your My Tesla account at edr.tesla.com. Scroll down to the Generate a Report section and click on Select a File to Upload. Browse to the EDR file you wish to upload and then double click on or open the file. The file name will appear here. Click Submit and wait for the file to upload. 
Once it's been uploaded, click on Download Report. Now, open the file. You can save the Tesla EDR report to your computer in the form of a PDF document. For more information on the EDR Retrieval Kit for Tesla vehicles, visit CrashDataGroup.com.